Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty, and today we're going to be making this pattern in Procreate. If you're a regular here, please feel free to use the timestamps to skip to the beginning of the tutorial. And if you're new here, then welcome to the Pattern Makers Toolkit. It's completely free to join and packed with resources to help you on your pattern making journey. And if you want to use the same colour palette that I'm going to be using for this pattern today, you can find that over there too. So to make this pattern, we are going to start, as always, with a 3600 pixel canvas. Got a preset for that. Tap on that one, and this is 3600 pixels square at 300 dpi. And the first thing we're going to do is fill our layer with colour. So I'm going to come over here and find the colour palette to use for this one, and I'm going to fill it with this one here. Then I'm going to tap transform. I want bicubic as my interpolation method, snapping and magnetics on and cranked all the way up. Then we can rotate this 45 degrees and fit it to the canvas. Then we can tap off it and back on and then we can adjust the width here rather than it being around the diagonal edges. The bounding box is now around the entire canvas. So we can resize this now. So tap up here and we are going to resize this to 1800 pixels. And then I'm going to centre this on the canvas. And I think I'll invert the colour so that you can see the snapping lines a bit more clearly. There we go. And then I'll change it back later. So I'm going to fill the layer again. Tap transform. I'm going to make this box with the ratio unlinked 1800 pixels wide and 900 pixels tall. And I'm going to snap that down there so the top of it is snapped to the middle of the canvas and then it lines up with this one as well. I'll invert the colours on there. I'm going to pinch to merge those together, duplicate, tap transform and I'm going to snap this to the middle of the canvas like that. Then I'm going to tap on this layer, I'm going to select it, tap on the layer below, hide this one above, tap transform and then just drag this selection off the canvas. So there we've got this chevron shape that now we can get rid of this one. Tap transform and then snap this to the edge of the canvas like that. And now we have this shape here which I believe is called a parallelogram. So we're going to use this to build out all of the herringbone shapes. Let's alpha lock it first and fill this with our colour. And I'm going to put this one so that this point is centred on the canvas and then I'm going to duplicate it and just transform this around and use this to make up our herringbone pattern. So I'll do this column first and let's make the colour for this one this red colour. Duplicate, snap that one up there. I'll make this one a different colour again. I love how Procreate calls all three of these colours red. <laughs> Duplicate, snap that one up to the top there. That one's going to get cut off. And this one is going to be pink, which means that this one down here will also need to be pink. So let's duplicate this one. Snap that down there, and this one will be pink, the same colour. So there's one layer. Now what we can do is swipe right on all of those and let's group them. Duplicate the group, tap transform and let's flip it horizontally and then snap this over here. And at the moment this is just a standard chevron pattern but we're going to mix up these colours and then it will become the herringbone with the different colours on either side. So I think I'll make this top one the peach colour. This one can be pink. And then this one here needs to be the same colour as what's up there. I'm going to put these in the right order so it's a bit easier to change the colours. And then we can duplicate the other column again and bring that over to here. Change some of these colours around. Now 
and then we can copy this column over to there. So that's this one here. And then mix these colours up a little bit. And in case you're wondering, I am using a reference image of a version of this that I already made. I would not be as quick as this for making up random nicely evenly spread layouts without having pre-planned it first. So don't worry if it takes you a few goes to do this. I've got my laptop off to the top here with the design on it. And then that is our finished pattern tile. So we need to test that this is repeating now. So as always, we swipe down with three fingers, copy all, come up to the top here. Let's add a layer of something dark. So if I fill it with this light and invert it, we'll get a dark color. Then we can swipe down and paste. And then I'm going to snap this up into the middle here. You'll see 1800 pixels there, duplicate and snap this over to the side. And then if we zoom into the middle here, if there was a gap on the sides of the canvas there, we'd see a gap there. That's all looking okay. So we can pinch those together, duplicate that, tap transform and snap this down to the bottom there. And then we can zoom in and just make sure there's no seam on the horizontal there. And that's all looking okay. So this is working in repeat. I'm just going to make it one step smaller and then we are done. Here we go. These bright colours make me so happy. And if you want to use the same colour palette that I used, you can find that over on the Pattern Makers Toolkit on my website. Pattern Makers Toolkit is a bit like a Patreon group, except it's all free. I send out one and only one email per month with a freebie in there to help you on your pattern making journey, as well as early access links to some of my YouTube tutorials and full access to all the assets in the resource library. Plus members get 10% off all the canvases and brushes in my Etsy store. New for 2025, the email also has a set of seasonal prompts each month for helping you plan, illustrate and upload in advance for the key shopping dates in your print on demand stores like Spoonflower. If you'd like to join, just click on the link up here or in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for videos like this every week. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you next time.